Hi there. This is an insanely quick and hopefully fun run through of the kind of apps that the Cubix platform can power. Uh, this is just one kind of app, uh, in this case for communities and sub communities, everything loads sort of on demand in real time. Here we have some events. Um, in other apps, we can have apps for teachers, we can have apps for dating and so on, but this is for connecting communities. Um, so here we have a web app. Uh, you see different events. You can look at the event and see who's going to it. Uh, you could see their bio. You could see their interests. If you have mutual interests, you're there highlighted. And then you could just, uh, say, Oh, I'm actually interested in that kind of thing too. Uh, you could also chat with them, which I'll get back into. So, you know, this is a kind of thing you can do. And if you chat, uh, you can also mute the chat. Um, also, uh, if you like people and you meet them at the event, you don't need business cards, you can simply add them. Uh, also, you can invent your own types of relationships. Uh, so for example, I could say, uh, this would be a colleague or whatever, right? So there you go, new type of relationship. Depending on the community, uh, sometimes you can create an event or sometimes only the admins of a community can create an event. So here I belong to one community and I'm not able to create an event. However, I could filter them. Uh, for example, here I could filter by uh, location as well as area within the location. So I could see that. Um, I could also, you know, obviously filter by uh, anything else. All right, let's move on. So here we've got uh, donations. You could donate to the community. And of course, everything's integrated with Apple Pay, etc. It's integrated on the uh, desktop with uh, Chrome Pay. So here I am just paying right now the community. And of course, um, you with your own Stripe account or whatever, will get the money there. It just went into the bank right there, $1. You can also invite people. So for example, if I wanted to, I can set an invitation and just add some people to invite. So it can be done by SMS. Um, and each link is unique. So when they go there, we can track who invited whom. And the uh, onboarding experience is really fast. Uh, here, let's do another one. I can invite people to an event. So here I'll join the event and that uh, says that, hey, it's gonna go on my calendar. Uh, there you go, it's on my calendar now in my phone. So what I do next is I can invite people. Uh, I can invite many different ways, including generating QR codes, but also I can invite, for example, by posting on Facebook. So this is me posting on Facebook. Um, I can, uh, check in. Uh, again, it generates a QR code that the admin can scan. Uh, if I want to go to the event, uh, I can, for example, uh, click the address and use either Google or Apple Maps to get there. So let's say we use Apple Maps. Boom, I can get to the event. But let's say that I've landed in Zurich and I want to go to Davos. It's just too far away. So what I can do is I need a ride. And I need a ride, maybe from my current location, but probably somewhere in New Jersey. I don't know. New Jersey Turnpike. No, I don't want to. Okay, so now, when I say pick me up, this is what happens. Pick up location. And all of a sudden, I get picked up on the way. Uh, I could change my pickup location, so probably somewhere. Let's, let's do it more interestingly, somewhere in uh, um, hmm, Chicago, okay? I don't know where in Chicago, but when I change my location, uh, it recalculates the route and essentially the person has to come and pick me up. Of course, this is, you know, far out, but the point is that uh, people can pick uh, each other up and um, the driver actually has a sort of Uber-like experience. All right, moving on. You could have um, the people in your community connect with one another and search for one another. So here are all the people and this could go on and on and on. And actually, we have thousands of people in the Yang communities. But if I want to find somebody, a specific person, like a developer, uh, I can search for that. If I want to find people interested in a specific topic, I can search for that. If I add some of these people to a uh, business and friends uh, list, for example, and then I say, who of my business uh, partners is interested in economics, I could just quickly do that query. Um, or I could see all my business partners. Or I could see all of my friends and so on. So you could quickly ask, for example, which of my friends will go out and do this thing for me, with me? Uh, it doesn't have to be for conferences. This could also be for large communities. So this is to unite communities. All right, let's see what else is there. Well, there's conversations. Unlike events, conversations take place online. So for example, if you uh, want to have a new conversation, it could be about some sort of, um, I don't know, some sort of uh, thing that you saw. So I'm just going to pick this URL right here and copy paste it in there. And so just like you would expect anywhere else, uh, the conversation starts happening and I can go to the conversation and invite people, right? And I can invite people again using any means that I want. So for example, I could talk about it on Twitter. 
Uh, I'm not going to do that right now, but uh, I also can talk about it on email. So you see how this works. Um, again, you don't need your address book or anything to be on Facebook. There it is. That's the new conversation people will join in the community. Of course, there's other conversations that you could be joining, and they don't have to involve only two people. They can involve more, and you can mute and unmute uh, these conversations. You could look at different, um, essentially, different participants and see what they're interested in. All right, but of course, um, oh yeah, let me do one more thing, and that is uh, show you sub-communities. So a sub-community, for example, is the Yang Gangs uh, from the Yang uh, community. So if you want to uh, go ahead and look at the Yang community of Hoboken, oh, there's a bunch of people in Hoboken that support Andrew Yang, and you can see there's no events happening. You can start your own. Um, so if I look at Andre over here, uh, you know, it's in different languages. It supports everything as well. So, uh, you know, chat supports obviously flagging things or uh, saying that uh, you could have administrators uh, work in your community to flag content. All right. Um, if you get tired of getting subscriptions, you want to, you know, different notifications, etc. You could see what you belong to and at any time just mute, mute and so on. Uh, or you could just uh, go ahead and uh, leave those uh, things. All right. And if you, of course, want, you can add your mobile number, etc. Continuing. Um, so you could do, for example, watch parties. You could watch things and talk about them, etc. So as you could see, a lot of these things already exist. And oh yeah, how could I forget? Uh, this is your me page. In your me page, you could quickly uh, edit things in, in, you know, in place. Uh, photo uh, library. And I'm gonna take a photo of myself at the moment. There it is. Okay, use photo. And uh, of course, your photo, you could uh, resize and do whatever, and then you just uh, select it. And notice it uh, updates in all places at the same time, real time. So everything is supposed to be uh, in real time. And if I changed uh, this and I started talking, for example, then my name would be Gregory Ha Ha. Uh, so here we go. Hi. And uh, everybody will see that. Uh, this is my profile. I can set my, uh, you know, this is uh, depending on the community, what you want to do. Um, greeting, uh, you know, you could say whatever. And everything is uh, editable in place. Here I have some uh, things I've already added, the Facebook, the LinkedIn. Let's say I disconnected the Facebook, uh, so the Facebook is no longer there. I can simply add it back uh, by connecting with Facebook and so on. Uh, can add links, uh, as I showed before, you know, your jobs, you can easily edit this. These are all customizable things that you can do. Uh, here's your schedule. Uh, notice that your schedule involves group rides to and from events. That's kind of cool. So in other words, you're at an event that tells you, okay, you got to get in the car and get to the next event. Uh, these are the past things and these are the future things coming up. So tomorrow morning, uh, you know, I'm supposed to be picked up and go apparently cross country. Uh, that's kind of the idea that, you know, sometimes uh, there are events, especially rural areas where you might not have a car, but you need to get there. So uh, we have facilities for that. Now with the coronavirus epidemic, of course, uh, we have to be careful. So we're also working on uh, an end-to-end -end system with masks and public safety as well, because we don't want to have people getting together in large numbers and infecting one another. It's very important, um, especially for what we're doing. All right, people can meet each other, they can scan, and right away without business cards connect. They can have credits, you can reward people for inviting others. So every time you invite somebody and uh, that person is uh, invited and comes, signs up, a new person signs up, you can reward your members so they can invite their guests. Um, finally, you don't have to just have a web app. For one thing, web apps are cool, and these days, even on the iOS, which is not that web friendly, you can simply add them to the uh, home screen. So there it is, the web app, and you know, uh, you can actually log in. Oh, it pre fills it for you, so you know, you log in, there it is, and uh, you have your passwords. However, a better way is to put your app in the store. So your app, we can help you for an extra fee to actually get in the store. So for example, you have the Yang 2020 app, there it is. It's right there in the store uh, and you can have as many downloads as you want and let's open it. Let's find out what it does. So uh, it's full screen, um, doesn't have the address bar of the browser, but uh, everything here is the same pretty much. Uh, you can uh, browse, you can have conversations within events. Um, and of course, if you are an admin, then you can scan the attendee codes uh, with the events. Oh, those are my shoes, look at that. So anyway, that's where the attendees would come. Um, so anyways, um, these are the kind of things that you can do uh, with, the, uh, with the native app. It's pretty much almost exactly the same, except of course that when you, uh, you could do a lot more. So for example, uh, when you invite people to something, let's say you go to an event and you'd like to invite people. So here the invitation is integrated with your address book.
you want to choose from your contacts, these are actual contacts from my address book. And I can select different phone numbers or one or two or whatever. And uh, I can select emails and phone numbers. And once I do that, uh, they, they come over here and I can remove some of them. So I can invite this way. And of course, if I go invite selected, uh, you know, what do I want to do? Um, and then I want to follow up. Hey, I just sent you an invite. See, this is kind of cool because you could actually send invites, which is uh, quite a bit faster uh, and, and so on. So that's basically uh, also the follow up by email. So why is this important, the follow ups? Um, because, you know, people get an invite from some weird number, you know, that says, hey, you've uh, Greg Magashak has invited you to something. So what you want to do is like send a massive follow up that says, hey, I, that was actually me. And this thereby increased the, the chance that uh, people would actually uh, sign up uh, and accept your invite. So here, uh, since I'm an admin, I can also uh, take a new photo or select a photo to change for this, uh, for this thing. So I will actually uh, select a photo. So for example, um, here we go. Uh, let's choose anything. Let's choose this one right here. And um, as you choose this photo, again, you can do that. It's set. And now, of course, it is changed everywhere at the same time. So that's how everything like this works. People can belong to many sub communities. So for example, here you belong to uh, New York City Yang Gang and uh, other ones. So if you go to New York City Yang Gang, you could see the events just in there, not much happening at the moment. So you can create a new event, yeah? And what you do is you simply say, I wanna create an event. And when you do, you can create it either as yourself or in the communities that you belong to. Uh, so here I may want to uh, have an event about economics uh, I might say, you know, like uh, economics, uh, um, different communities can have different themes. So, for example, Davos, uh, you could have different themes. Uh, Coinect is an app for uh, coins. And uh, essentially here uh, we have what's called the uh, the gallery. So you have a bunch of images that scroll by and so on. So if you don't do anything, it will. Uh... All right. Moving on from the Yang Gangs, I wanted to show you what it's like to have the same application, but a different theme. So this is repurposed for yoga. Uh, communities. Now, in this case, we have people uh, starting a different instructor starting yoga classes. So rather than having events, we have yoga classes. And of course, other things are different. For example, here is an event and you can compare with how the event appears here. You have the title here. You've got the whole thing reaching up to the top. The title is below it. Uh, if you want to make a reservation, uh, you know, there is a, and this is a part of the Cubix platform that is cool. You can customize it and make it look exactly like your brand needs to. And of course, you could still connect with Facebook. So for example, here, um, I'm going to connect with Facebook and now I'm in. So I can see, for example, different uh, classes I'm going to. And uh, in this case, classes I'm hosting. Um, so in this particular app, students are not able to see other students, but teachers are able to see students and you can scan attendee codes. So for example, if uh, somebody wants to log in, uh, they would simply uh, put their, uh, you know, they can log in over here. So um, of course you can add all of this to the, uh, uh, to the home screen, same as before. And so that's what I'm going to do now. Uh, add yoga to home screen. So now we've got the yoga app. I'm actually going to create a new account. Um, here, I'm just going to choose one of my other emails and say, uh, Greg Fu Man. All right. And if I don't accept the terms, it asks me and I say, yes, I accept the terms. This is the onboarding process for new users. Welcome to Solstice. This app will help you connect with friends, discover new people with common interests and much more. Let's get started. So basically uh, you have a voice Set guiding your photo. you through this thing. This is how people will see you on the site. And uh, you can go ahead and uh, take a photo here. I'm just going to take a photo of myself. Um, let's do that right here. Yeah, that's fine. Um, again, you can go ahead and resize it and boom, you've got your photo. So the next thing is you need to set your location because you need people to figure out, uh, you know, you need to see things around you and you can choose how many miles or kilometers around you that, uh,